Hey guys, it's Hayden here making another video. Today I want to share with you guys basically the basics of card reading, sort of why I do it, and sort of how to do it based on what I've experienced. Before I get started, um, if you're interested in getting a card reading with me, just let me know. You can reach out to me through Instagram. Just uh, send me a direct message and we can set up a session. I'm charging right now uh, $40 a session. So yeah, hit me up if you're interested in getting a session with me. With that, let's go ahead and get into how I do a card reading. So the most important thing at first is getting a deck that you want to work with because you want it to be fun. You want um, to work with something that you enjoy. So pick out a deck that you like the art on or you like the message or something, some part of it resonates with you and start to use that deck. When you have that deck, what you want to do when you actually go down to read the cards create a little bit of a sacred space for yourself. That's the most important thing, um, at least that I found that to be true, is creating a space that is um, sacred in some way to you. So everybody's going to make their sacred space in a different way. So I practice shamanism, so my ritual is going to be kind of more shamanic. So I use some sage and I use um, some Florida water. I set some intention. I connect with uh, my higher power, um, you know, whatever that is for me, it's gonna be different for you. But basically creating a space where you, you feel empowered and you're creating something different from the rest of your life. So once you have your deck, once you create that space, when you're ready to read the cards, then you're going to look through the deck um, or the, the book rather, and see if there's a spread that works for what you're looking for. So generally if you buy a deck, it comes with a little booklet um, and those are really helpful to follow when at first to sort of give you some guidance and something to work off of. A lot of the spreads in there I found have really worked well with the cards. So if you're not sure what to do, definitely use one of those spreads. I still use the spreads from the, um, from the, the books for the most part. Um, but if you're somebody who likes to do their own thing, you can always just like make your own card spread. Uh, you just choose the questions and set the intention and you just pull the cards for each of those question spots. So there's no restriction. There's also some online too you can check out um, for oracle cards and for tarot cards. So find something that works for you. So once you've found the deck, once you've found the sacred space, and then you found the spread, now is the actual reading part. So you're going to shuffle the cards. Um, you don't have to shuffle them in a specific way. Just whenever you feel like you're ready to stop shuffling, and put the cards down or you can lay them out and pick the cards individually it's really up to you just do whatever you feel is correct it's all about setting the intention and feeling like you're connected to the space and then you lay the cards out and then you flip them one by one or you can flip them all at once i prefer sometimes i do them all at once sometimes i do one by one usually one by one and i sort of get an individual read on each card and then i'll do an overall reading once i have all the cards flipped over but basically what you want to do is really pay attention to all of your senses. Pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to what thoughts come in your mind. Pay attention to what kind of art is on the cards, what the message is. Um, there can be so many different things that come through that could be messages. Um, so pretty much anything. Um, the message on the card may not be the correct message for that card. Um, it could be something else that you see in the picture or something that you feel from that card. It could be really anything. Just pay attention and use your intuition. This is very like free flowing. It's more like a river of flowing information than it is like a hard set, this is how you do it kind of thing. Um, and it should be fun. So when you finish your reading and you feel like you've gotten the message that you were looking for, be sure to thank the cards, thank the space that you're in, and thank your higher power for helping you out during the card reading. This is a very important process to uh, to do at the end of your reading just to make sure that you are being grateful and thankful for the messages that came through So I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions for me, let me know I'd be glad to answer any questions or make any future videos about card reading again I think it's a really powerful tool to have in your um, in your toolkit because it can just get you back on track and um, It's a great way to help your friends too if you're interested in reading for other people and it's also super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos by me, you can check out my channel, Informal Inquiry.
And if you'd like to get a reading by me, again, you can just hit me up on Instagram through direct message and we can schedule a session. And as always, guys, make sure to seek your truth and to take time for yourself. And thank you for watching. All right, bye for now, guys. Thank you.